Hi everybody, it's Lauren Brown, also known as Raggedy Royal on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and now YouTube. And today me and my bangs are here to teach you how to do vampy dramatic lips. So we're going to do this red lip combo right here. It's giving very much blood, very much candy apple. And we're also going to do a purple version. Thank you so much. We are almost at 40,000 subscribers. So that's super, super exciting. So thank you much, so much for that. This is the next installment in my lip combo series, question mark. I've already done how to do my perfect new lip combo and how to do my matte red lip combo. So if you want to check those out, please do. And yes, I think this will be perfect for like Halloween, but also for a random Tuesday. So let's just get let's just get into it. <laughs> All right, so the first step to doing lips always is highlighting your cupid's bow. So I'm going to be using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Happy Thoughts that y'all see in almost every video. And ColourPop, if you're watching this, Yes. Anyways, I'm just gonna take my finger and highlight my cupid's bow. So why does highlighting your cupid's bow matter? Highlighting, the purpose of highlighting in general is to catch the light in a certain place. So if you catch the light here, what it does is it emphasizes your cupid bow. Your cupid's bow is this little cute V and it just really, you know, speaks to the shape of your lips. That's my first step always. And then we're going to get into the lip line, right? So this is key for a vampy lip liner, black lipstick right so you can use a black liquid lipstick this is the sephora collection shade 28 or if you want to be more precise and take up less space on the lip you can use a smaller pencil like thing so this is a kvd tattoo pencil liner in trooper black it's an eyeliner it's not illegal all right you know how i feel about reusing makeup in different ways on this channel and this is going to be one of those times this just helps you get really precise on the lip. So first I'm going to take the liquid lipstick and we're going to line the lip. So I always go a little bit underneath my bottom lip and a little bit over my top lip. Why? To emphasize, to emphasize the shape of my lips and also because I need more space for all the lipstick that we're going to put in there. You'll see, just, just walk with me. All right, I'm going to start in the right corner and I'm taking the side that is thinner, right? So I'm not going with the chunkier side of the lipstick. I'm going to go with the side that's thinner because I'm trying to line the lips. And I want to make sure they're sharp in the corner, so I'm going to turn it. There we go. That's the bottom lip. Now I'm going to go a little bit over the top lip. Perf. Our best friend today is going to be this Morphe M709 and this is just a very soft brush and it's small enough to blend out on the lips and we're just going to blend downward. We don't want to blend upwards because that's going to go outside of the bounds of where our lipstick is and it's going to create a mess. Especially because now it's dried down a little bit but if you try to do this as, like, as soon as the lipstick is wet it will go everywhere. So you want to just pull the product towards the center of the lip. Also just taking it and just straighten out that line since it's pretty much dry. Drag it in. Now, to be honest, with the look I've done today, I think this is my first time y'all seeing my bangs, but the look I've done today, I might even just add a new lip in the middle of this and that'd be the ombre. But we're going for vampy, so I just wanna let you know with a black liner, the possibilities are endless. Now, let's go into our next lipstick. So I'm gonna be taking the Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in Roulette, just like a purple. And I'm gonna add it right on to where the black is. I'm not going over to the edge of the liner because I want that black to be there to make sure that there's a harsh contrast, but Oh, where there, there's black on the lips, I'm going over that. And this is just to add in the berry color because it's almost as dark as the black, but it's not, okay? But this shade introduces the berry tones. You could also stop here. You could, you could also stop here. That's one thing about lip compost. Every single step, so pleasing. Now, 
for today's purple ombre lip i'm going to be going in with a nude on the center you could also use a pink that's how you're feeling this could this could be a totally different look with the use of a pink but we're going to be going in with this nude lipstick and this is the anastasia beverly hills lipstick in praline and it's a nude i'm gonna get a good amount of that on the lips why because it has to combat all these dark colors right so i'm going to take that brush again i'm going to drag it down now, if you don't have a brush like this, no worries. You could just go like this, hmm. But I feel like the brush gets the best blend possible. Why do we add that nude shade in the center of the lip and just the center of the lip? It's just like highlighting and contouring your face. And also what I was saying about highlighting your cupid's bow. Highlight attracts your eye, right? So we want to attract our eye to the center of the lips and it also helps create a contour for the rest of our lips. If we put the light shade on the outside and the dark shade on the inside, it will look like a little hole. That's what our mouth would look like. But this way, it really emphasizes the shape of our lips. It lets us, you know, show off every single shade. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more roulette and this is just personal preference. On the tops and on the corners, just to blend that in. I overdid it, lol. Just a little bit. See? There's one thing about these lip combos, though. If you feel like, oh, I just feel like the black is overshadowing, add a little bit more purple. You feel like the purple is overshadowing, add a little bit more nude. Ruffling all down. And pulling it all up. When I say down and up, I just mean towards the center of the lip. So on the bottom lip, pulling it up will be towards the center of the lip. On the top lip, pulling it down. Fantastic. So here is the lip. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a glossy lip. Because I just feel like these dramatic lips look so good with a little bit of gloss. I'm just taking the Beauty Supply Store lip gloss. This is the Ruby Kisses Jelly Lippies. I got this from either the Beauty Supply Store or CVS. Let me stop talking. <laughs> here we go. And here is your purple vampy combo. The other plus side to gloss is that it makes lipstick way easier to remove. But if matte's your thing, I respect that too. I have a video on how to do my matte red lip combo. If you want to check that out, and how to do my new lip combo. Yeah. Yeah, I get real precise when it comes to this bottom part. So I'm messing with Tyreka. So I put my finger in the white. And use it as a fine point. And I'm going to take some setting powder. Put that all around. Mm -hmm. And that has nothing to do with like setting moisture. That's just more so because I wiped off some of the foundation concealer and setting butter around my mouth. So that just helps me get like an even base. Highlight my cupid's bow again. And let's go in with red. So this time I'm gonna be using the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner in Trooper Black. And if you watched my last tutorial, which was a couple days ago, I used this on my eyes. Now we're using it on my lips, okay? It's gonna be all right. Now I'm gonna do the same thing as I did the last time and line the bottom of my bottom lip and the top of my top lip my favorite eyeliner slash i actually don't know what is marketed as I use as a lip liner is the nyx epic smoke liner and i like it in mocha match which i use in my new lip combo video but i also love the black one because oh it just glides onto the lips if you're looking for an eyeliner or a is it an eyeliner? I don't know. If you're looking for a product to use to line your lips. You know, blend it a little bit at the top. Because like I said, more precise than a liquid lipstick. However, it doesn't take up as much space. So I'm going to fill in the corners. And that is that. We're back with my brush. 
wipe that off real quick. And we are going to do the same thing as last time and blend it and pull it towards the center of the lip. So now I'm going to go in with the Color Rain Liquid Lipstick in Red C, and I'm going to go on top of that black. And I'm going to use my brush and blend that in. Boom. All right. Next, we're going with shade Vanity Rain, which is this cherry red lipstick, and put that right in the center. Now, I've never celebrated Halloween, like actually celebrated it. I've done a few like looks for it, kind of sort of a little bit, but I never celebrated it growing up. So, I'm going to need y'all help letting me know what you need for your costumes this year. Because I want to make tutorials for y'all, but I'm also like, I don't know what you need. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm thinking Vampulous for sure. This really reminds me of Blood. So I was like, yeah, because at first I was just going to do the video of the purple. And I was like, oh no, like, I feel like they'll definitely need this. I'm also going to make a blonde brow tutorial. Probably the second upload for this week. So let me know what else you need down in the comments below. But it is nice and flat. Look at my poor lips. It's starting to get dry already because I just wiped off the last lipstick. Don't worry. We're about to put some gloss on top. It is what it is. You can always stop here per the usual. But I'm going to add clear gloss. And I'm going to wipe off the top because it still has some purple on it. And I love the squeezy tubes for these dark lipstick combos because if you use one with the wand, it's going to get dirty and black and dark red and dark purple. It's gonna change the color of your clear gloss, but these squeeze babies, no harm, no foul. I'm gonna put my finger in my mouth. That's gonna stop the lip gloss from going in my mouth and the lipstick from getting on my teeth. Especially with these dark colors, it will slip and slide everywhere and that'll be a mess. That is that. Here is our red vampy lip. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed or learned anything and make sure you subscribe. We're so close to 40,000. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know down below what you want to see next, whether it be for Halloween costume help or just in general. I have a makeup foundationalist playlist where I went over so many things at this point. Um, how I do my brows, which you can't see because I got my bangs down. I think this is my first video ever with my hair down. So we're getting closer. We're going to the next level. But anyways, how I do my brows, how I do eyeliner, how I do my waterline, how I do faux freckles, and how I did my nude lip combo and my matte red lip combo. So if your costume needs those, I already have those in that playlist. It'll show up at the end. And yes, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Raggedy Royal. I do more looks. I do a whole bunch of things. I have a bucket list series on TikTok where I try so many different things. Go check it out, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.